What's up guys, we are back at it again with another coaching video. This time it is with my boy Guru. And man, Guru is a natural. It is his, his first time playing Aperol and literally just booted it up in our coaching session. So this is definitely the one to watch, especially if you're a newbie coming into Aperol and wanting to try the game out. So enjoy. Sitting at the very beginning page. It's, it's asking me to sign my soul away. Not probably not. It's just probably <laughs> giving me the basic TOS. So I don't yeah. have much to say here. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yo, this, this beginning screen is pretty dope looking. I like it. It makes me feel like I'm jumping into like a blast blue, like an arcade game. Oh, 100%, 100%. Yeah, it's super nice. I, I love it. Yeah, since you're there too, we can uh, min max your setting. So Let's do it. on graphic. Okay. I would do... Okay, you got it. Camera view farthest. Farthest? Yes. So you see like all the all the yeah. stuff. And then your frame rate, so just put it to 90. Okay. I have a 200 hertz monitor. Does it matter? Uh, it should be good. It, like as long as you... Because that's the max anyways, which is 90. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I run so... it on... I have a 240 hertz as well, but... Yeah. Which is so good for FPS, but yeah. speaking of FPS, I got my... Actually, I did not get my butt kicked in Yan Heroes today. I actually whooped some ass in like 80% of my games, but I got stomped in one. But uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do that another day. I might need to squad up with you to whoop some ass in Yan Heroes. Oh, we got today. to, bro. We got to, we got to. Yeah, I, I downloaded it too. It's, uh, it's really fun. I think out of all the shooters, it's the one I enjoy the most. Nice. Uh, anything I should be doing here? I'm just showing FPS, but anything else you think I should do control-wise? What do I got to know here? No, movement? I think, yeah, movement is very simple. Just WASD, dashing is space. The skill slots, don't worry about that. I usually just use my mouse always to drag skills. Okay. Um, I think it's super important to always have your left hand on your movement. So okay. you're, you're set up now. Nice, let's do it. So do we just jump right into play? Is it gonna throw us right into a game or do we gotta set up our uh, like set up our team and everything? Yeah, yeah, so press play. It's gonna go through the tutorial for you. Okay. Yep. I will, you know what? Let's jump in with this guy. Maybe this can should be yep. easy enough. Yeah, it's gonna ask you to do uh, all that. Can we do Ronin login? Yes, we can. You can, yep. Here we go. There we go. We too big brain for this, man. Ain't no Kydro Mink gonna hold us back. <laughs> All right, I think I've seen this before. Is this the this is the launch trailer that they, they put together, or not the launch trailer, the intro that they shared like months ago, right? Yes. They were, yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't need this then. We'll jump so right now into it. So now you're in the intro screen, you're like a little godling cell, and it's just like the tutorial. Okay. What is this place? Yeah. Okay. Movement smooth. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Put your hands together one time and help me pray. Into the Gaudi verse. Not supposed to talk about this, but it's very exciting. Manifesting it, Kate. Let's do it. Is everyone going to talk so cryptically from here on out? <laughs> <laughs> Every god needs to go through a trial. I have, I have choice. All right. So this is one thing. Does this choice matter in the beginning, or can I change this up later on? Uh, it doesn't matter. The only thing it'll do is this will um, change the way your little goblin looks. So uh, I suggest choosing something that you just personally like. Okay. Um, I do know what they each look like if you want me to spoil you, but okay. I think it's, it's better be, if you choose. If I jump into one, I get one. So I'm between air or fire. This has always been my style. I'm either like hot burning or I yeah. move like the air. I think personally, I'm gonna go for, let's get fiery today. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice, solid choice, okay. solid choice. This looks pretty dope, I like this. Okay, power flame thrower, continue these, release a cone. I'm assuming we can probably change these cars up. A fire seed and a solar disc in a direction. It's pretty dope. Yeah. Power and action, I like that, for sure. Yeah, this will just fire. make your little guy look cool in the cradle. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, this is just like showing you the battle tips, all that stuff. Okay. So I can actually run through. Oh, yep. I have to hit it. Yep. So does he automatically hit when I get close? Uh, it's when you stand still. It'll auto attack. There you go. Okay. 
Here, I want to try this once more. So it clicks, I get the registry, and then yeah. it will auto attack. That makes yes. sense. Cause I get a little bit of feedback on it. Yep, yep. Do this. Oh yeah. Avatar and Apostles have their own skill cards. Oh, I can even use my skill cards? Okay, yep. so you drag these, hey? And you can move yep. them? I saw you doing this for sure. Oh! You one shot okay, I guess it. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm assuming each one of those cards has a cooldown, right? Or, like, use a certain amount of energy? Yep, it's just uh, no cooldown, it's just mana. Okay. Oh, yo, these little things. This is like Biku's PFP. I've seen Biku. Yeah, Look those are your dudes, eh? little apostles. Ah, I like it. Alright, I love them. Yeah, they're cute. So they'll fight with me, but they're all AI. They fight on their own, right? Can I dash? Oh, I can yes. dash. Dash cooldown is the yellow bar, I'm assuming? Yep, it is. Let's jump in. Alright, I'm picking this all up. This is pretty straightforward. I like the little prompts down on the bottom left. Actually, for a first-time user experience, it's solid. I I think this definitely works. It's a simple game by design, yep. but it's good to give people a quick walkthrough. Oh, for sure. So, lead dudes. All right. Let's do it. Oh. Omen class juggernauts? Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, my dudes are scared. Oh, he's going to jump in. Okay, is there PvE in this? There is, there is. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, the PvE is not out yet, but it will. Okay. Who okay, is so this is really important, important too. So you yeah. chose the fire. The, yep. Based on which one you revive, it'll also shape the way your godling looks. Uh, okay, so it when it comes down to it, do you usually use a full set of dudes? Like you'll use one mage, one guardian, one priest, etc. Or is there like a meta where people yes. run like multi guardian, multi priest? Yeah, no, there's definitely a meta. Um, what I really like to run is I like to run one guardian, one warrior, and two mages. I never run priest because okay. I don't play sustain. Um. Mm. And you know oh, what? Yeah. We always need a tank. I'm going Guardian. Nice. It's getting revived. I want my boy to look good. Nice. Let's do it. It's level 99. That's the spirit from your... Okay, <laughs> sir. <laughs> let's take down this monster first. Let's do he it. He says, I can feel the energy from my bum. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. Aya. Okay, I gotta wait. I think I dashed yeah. way too early. I thought yeah. he was gonna jump. Wait. Okay, so I can use his skill? Yes. So that's a uh, stun. That's leaping shield bomb. You just wanna aim that on the enemy. Makes sense. That's this one here? That, that one is a shield for you. That one's a shield to me? Okay. Yeah. All right, so he's tanky. Yep, I want to get yep, in range. Yep. I see that it lights him up once he's... Oh. Okay, I, I see if he's in range, it lights him up. So yes. I'm able to actually uh, see that I'm going to hit him. Damn. Okay, this is pretty intense. Yeah, this is actually the first time I've ever watched this, to be honest. Really? Yo, yeah. that was pretty intense. <laughs> Alright, that's what I wanted to see, but yeah, that was legit. Yeah. Oh, wait, who's this little dude here? Oh, I'm angry now. <laughs> that was a hell of a walk welcoming party. I can't believe he single-handedly defeated two Omen Juggernauts. I only saw one, man, but I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to manifest the spirit core now. Y'all, we're going together? What yeah. the heck? This, uh... 
purser is massive, dude. Yeah, it's, it's such big. a chunk. Is this uh, mobile friendly as well? Do most people play Apron on a mobile? You can, yeah. There's actually someone. I think it was Trevor. Trevor on mm -hmm. on X. He plays on mobile. But yeah, so this okay. is the cradle. Um, this is just like your home base. Um, those are your NPCs. Okay. Are they important for anything in particular? No, no. Right now, they're kind of just there as like... Uh, I guess like NPCs just so you can talk to them if you want, but... Mm, makes yeah. sense. The so, most important is the arena. Yeah. So this teleport will be the arena, hey? Yes. Give me a sec. I gotta change this. What am I doing? I hope nobody's sniped my name in this. Now nah, we good. Free player. Okay, we're good. So we don't have to click on any of this stuff. We're fine. So we just jump into the arena and we're good to go? Yep. Yep. Let's do it. It'll bring us to the arena screen, and then that's when we set up everything. Okay, makes sense. Oh yeah, this is the screen I always see you on when you're playing. Yes, yes. So, okay, awesome. Seasonal modifier. Let's do it. So All what right, do we do here? So, uh, I think we should start off with the planet first. Um, so if you okay. click your planet, the middle guy, the avatar. Oh, this guy right here. You can do change. Ooh change it okay yep um and then now since uh we're completely free to play yeah uh, pick mm -hmm. the element that you really like so there's earth there's air there's fire and water um oh, how wait, i like wait. to help people and, and onboard people is fire is damage water is sustain and resources air mm -hmm. is mobility and earth is resistance Honestly, I'll start with fire in the beginning because I feel like damage is a good way to go for me to get the hang of it. Yep. And then we'll see how I like it based off of how I go there. Sounds good. And then apostles, uh, if you go to the apostle tab. Yep. So I, you have one free reroll every single day. Um, and I 100% think, um, ooh, you should, yeah, you should reroll, but we should lock some stuff in. I see like, Two really good apostles that we should lock in, and right. that would be the rogue and the, the eighty uh, IV oh, rogue. Yeah. Yeah. How do we lock them in? Um. So if you just press uh, reroll seed apostles. Yeah, yeah, you can lock that. There you go. Perfect. Okay. And the other one was which one? Sorry. The eighty IV priest. Well, do, do you want to play priest. with priest? I don't think you should. I mean, but... I could try it. But okay. I, if it's really good, why not give it a try? I'll give okay. it a try. Sounds good. And then re -roll, re roll seed? Yep. Okay. And then they're already locked And then it'll in. let me know. Yeah. Okay. Your Guardian's actually really good, but it's a really low IV. Um, yeah. I think like 70 to 80 is like the high roll of, mm -hmm. of these seed apostles. So yeah, that's like a perfect skill set. You have Leaping Shield Bulk, Baby Cage, but... IV's too low. But we need to get something with a little bit more power, so we'll see. Plus, yeah. I like gotcha. All right, we got a warrior, level 78 or IV 78. I keep thinking that's level, but it's IV. What is the IV? IV? Is that like the like a score it gives, like a ranking of power? Yeah, it's just uh, stats. So it's like Pokemon to where, um, I guess, when you have like a good IV, the stats go up. Because they do have stats, too. Ah, uh, okay. And if I lock these in, do they stay for the next day too? Or do I have to reroll them the next day as well? No, they stay. They stay. So I can continue to, like, kind of min-max out my Apostles over the week and have, like, a solid set of Apostles by the end of the week, okay? Exactly. Exactly. I like that. Okay. So that makes a lot of sense. So I would lock in the Mage. The Mage is crack. And both this the warriors. IV seventy eight mage. Yeah, yeah. It has Switcheroo too. Switcheroo is is one of the best skills in the game. So do I swap um, locations with the mage? Yes, yes. So solid. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> and then keep the seventy eight warrior and the sixty nine warrior. And then you Sounds have super good. solid like apostles right there. The only thing we're missing would be like a guardian and another mage. And then everything yeah. else looks really good. Nice. You actually so high rolled this. X this year. I'm kind of. I feel like I did. IV 79. The IV 80 <laughs> sounds 
pretty cracked. Like, no, you actually max, high rolled. It? Yeah, max is 80. So you have the 78, the 79, an 80, and a 78. So like 50% of your apostles, you literally high rolled. What can I say? What can yeah. I say? <laughs> I got, I got you coaching me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. I'm excited. So for the apostles, um, yes. Do I have to set them up in a certain way, or are they just going to automatically be set up among the six here? Yeah, so you do have to set them up, so just click uh, the 49 IV made. Okay. Click yep. And then we put the new this. one in. Yep, perfect. Nice. And then click the warrior. Okay. Put the new, put the one, new in. one in. Yep. And then the hunter. Put, put the, the rogue in, I'm assuming? The 69 warrior. First. Oh, 69 warrior, okay. Perfect. We have double warrior. We already have the rogue, okay? Yep. Oh, we don't have this guardian anymore. We got to no. change it out with what? A priest? The priest. We can do the, um, yeah. Perfect. This one? Yeah, I just thought with the IV, it's probably better than the 59, hey? Yep, for sure. For sure. Nice. Awesome. Okay. I mean, my character looks pretty basic, but I have a feeling that's also because I don't have a badass planet, right? If you get a yeah. planet, you probably start looking cool. For sure. For sure. And then before yeah. we start, let's set up your skill tree. So the okay. skill tree is like one of the most, um, I guess like it, it makes it seem like the game is super complicated, but it's not. So know it looks that it's complicated. Not. I'm not yes. going to lie, but I, know, I, I, I try. Know. Okay. So how this works is if you scroll out, um, okay. think of it oh. as an MMO skill tree, right? So you go from <sighs> okay. tree one to tree two to tree three. And you go okay. up based on the point allocation that you've put in. Um, so for okay. this planet, yeah, for this planet, um, it's really important. I think one of the best things is putting all the water points, the 22 that you have, into perks. Um, and the into most perks. important perk is gathering magic. Yeah. This one right here. So in the yep. insides are perks and the outsides are skills? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I'm assuming these are skill upgrades, right? Yes, yes. that's exactly yes. what it is. Yep. Okay, I'm picking that up. That honestly, it, it already does not look nearly as complicated now that I know that. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so yeah. So everything into gathering magic to start off, I should put all five of them in? Yep, all five, and it will take up 11 points. So level five uh, perk is okay. always 11 points. So we have 11 left. And I would put okay. that into life drain. Yep. Okay. All of it? Yep, all of it. So now right, we're, so we're done. 22 of 22. Yep. Now oh, we're that done easy, with hey? water. Yeah, that easy. That easy. All right. All right. So now let me ask you a question. If I was, can I go back and put points into fire and like cross spec? Or is it usually better to min max into um, one of the like more, you know, valuable perks slash skills and stats? Like, how is that going to work? Am I going to want to go back and fill this out? Yes. Or just continue to move up? No, 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 definitely. I think you bring up a good point. Um, so now we can put in earth, we can put in fire. So we still have points in earth, fire, and air. Yeah, yeah, I see that here. Yep. And and that's the beauty of this game. It's actually, I think that pure planets are, are not the best in the game at mm. all. Um, I actually mm. think duos or trios are the best because it lets you grab perks from other elements that are really good while still mm -hmm. playing your main build. Okay. okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. Now, I got a question. If Is is it sometimes not a good idea to get too spread out though? Like, is that gonna mess up your RNG or like mess up your decks or your abilities and make it like harder for you to have consistency in the match? Or does that really matter? Like, should I um, try and get as much as I can? Or should I really dial down on like having a duo strat where I'm like water and fire? No, for sure. I think the most important thing, which it's not available for the free to play planets, is the birth skills and the birth perk. So once you have uh, your like no, no. NFP planet, um, they come with uh, birth skills. And what that means is that it's automatically unlocked. So you don't need to work uh, up the skill tree to unlock it and allocate points just to get that skill. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. And just for anybody who is going to watch us in the future, that will be in another episode. I will bring Logic back and he's going to help me shop for a planet. But with how yep. Mavis Market is right now, we're just going to accept that's not happening today and we'll have to run that back. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So I think now right. um, let's fill out Earth. Since you have 15, um, just grab three of each on Tough Skin and Wild Growth. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And then that now we have live left over. I think you can put it on tough skin. Let's see tough how many skin? points. Okay. Yep. Just one of them. Actually, oh no, it's only three. Yeah, tough skin. This just gives me straight up less damage taken, right? Like damage mitigation. Yep. Damage resist. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's so good. You can never go wrong with that. And then you have two points left. Can you put it on wild growth or no? No. Uh, no, can't. Okay. I think the next one's three. Yeah, the next one's three points. Okay, then I think we can just go up the tree too. And then just oh, put... Oh, up here. Okay. Yes. And then you can just put... Um, which are... I personally don't really like the earth tree too. Um, but since we don't have an option, I would just put it wherever you'd like. Okay, so flourish is shielding effect, which is whatever. But this just straight up gives me a shield. I'm going to say that just a shield is better than me having to amplify shielding effect. So I'm just going to get a small shield here. Yeah. That should be You fun. can actually put both because you have oh, one wait. more. Perfect. You're right. So it's yeah. one point and then it doubles to two and then it continues to go up. I see yep. it. It, it like gets hot more and more expensive. That makes sense. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Now we are done with water and earth. Uh, we should and do air next. I really, okay. really, really love flow. Just having okay. that movement speed. Movement speed. It, yeah. Dude, it's, I was it's one moving of the best. so slow in yeah. the tutorial. I'm For totally sure. down with this. <laughs> For sure. So we've got flow and then um, for this build, I think we should grab level one zip zap, which is the... Zip zap. Yes. This one or this one down here? This one? Zip zap. Yeah, zip zap orb. Generates three orbs. I've seen you use this before, man. I've seen you roll in with the orbs and you clap people with that. Yeah, it's it's just so good. And then you grab all three upgrades. Okay. And then we'll That'll keep this at level point. one. Yeah, just because we, do, we don't have a lot of air point with this okay. fire planet. But having that utility skill of zip zap orbs um, it's just super good. Essentially, that middle upgrade for it, it'll stun an enemy when you mm. um, hit them three times. So the left. Oh, is that's this one? The the middle one? Yes. That wow, one. that's huge. Yeah. Huge. Okay, so, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Yeah, big, big, big utility skill. And I think it's like one of the best skills in the game, especially for being so low up on the tree. Um, and mm. having level one on it is is completely fine because we're just using yeah because it it's all utility. about this stun. I can see yes. this like this is the movement speed and this increases the speed of the orbs. Like it's all utility here. It doesn't yes. matter how much damage it does. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, makes and sense. And then we have one. Now we have one left. more point. What do you? Yeah, think? I would just put it into air poisoning, level one. Okay. And yeah, it's super good. Don't level points. that that up. Um, higher than one because one is the only thing you need as you can see it only increases it by 0.5 percent that really mm. doesn't matter and and just having yeah. that five percent chance to inflict toxic is more than enough yeah it's like that one percent crit we used to put in runes back in league i totally understand that yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay That's awesome cool. can we do you, if, if i decided to like you know reset this or like i'm assuming i level up in some way shape or form um, can I? Oh, I can refund right there. Yeah, never mind. Yep. Answer my own question. Yes, you can. Okay. And then okay. now we have 41 fire. Um, and we are missing two more skills. I definitely think you should grab Seed of Fire um, and okay. grab that up to level five, I believe. Two, so you see how four, each five. level increases the damage? Yeah, for sure. Yep. Is Seed of Fire an AoE? Like, is that that little AoE orb? You can just choose a circle area and it, like, blows up? Yes, exactly. It exactly. looks kind of like a brand ability to me. I thought it was, yeah. like, his W. No, it is. It, that's exactly it. That's exactly okay. it. That and then sense, grab then. all three upgrades. Okay, upgrades are important, aren't they? They yeah. cost three each, but yeah, they look really important. Okay. Yep. Oh, healing? Okay, solid. Yep. Yeah, so it gives you your life steal, right? So if you uh, hit yeah. apostles or anything with it, it'll life steal for you. And a slow dude. This is totally brand W. Yeah, no, it is brand. <laughs> it is brand. I like it. Awesome. Um, okay. I think we can grab um, raid. Raid is raid. really good. It just gives you more damage. And when you damage an enemy, it gives you a shield. Okay, yeah, that's solid. Yep. That seems really good. And yeah, I can never go wrong with damage. Damage yep. is great. And then we'll so... move up to 
Um, so we can either go Palm Flame Thrower or we can go into Solar Explosion, which should be on tree three. Solar yeah. Disc. I'll be honest, this the the hit bot cone on it seemed kind of small to me. Yep. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. That was the one we were using against the Juggernaut, right? It seemed like pretty close range. Yeah. Um, this one, I think I want to try for this one. Also, it sounds dope. I shoot out a solar disc. Yes. And it in the in the direction, twenty two units. Yeah, I, I like this. I all I'm already sold for it. But in order to get there, we got to level one of these up to five, don't we? Oh no no no, we're already up there. Oh wait, we can get it. We can get yeah. it right now. Oh yep. wait, yeah, you're right. I guess yep. you just have to. How do you unlock the the worlds? Is it after using a certain amount of skill points? Yeah, after a certain amount of skill points, it'll unlock. And if we are going for a solar explosion, I actually think we should take out raid because we won't have enough points to get it into um, level five if we have raid. Okay, so take it out all the way or just a little bit? Yep, all the way, all the way. Okay. I'm down. Yeah, let's focus on the skills. I think these will be solid. Let's move this up to five. Yep. Then and we'll then have enough. Upgrades. I'm assuming we buy all these, right? Yes. Beautiful. Solid. 41. And then you have one point remaining. Definitely put it on grudge. And I think you made a good yeah. point on why that is in league. Yeah. Right? You had that one. I already grudge. know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, this looks solid. I'm already liking the way this is set up. This looks really nice. We got our four skills here, um, or three skills. Yep. Wait, it's just three, right? Yeah, just three, three skills. Three. We got everything upgraded. Dude, I feel so strong. Oh, it's it's super strong. And, and Solar Explosion, I, I do want to uh, point something out for you. Look at the uh, left upgrade on it. Okay. The leftmost upgrade is... Oh, it's upgrading. Or it's just telling me I unlocked a new planet. Oh, you just have to Sir. move the UI. Yeah. Sir! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> The, this ability is now able to induce crit. Oh my goodness, upon yeah. detonation. If the caster is inside the explosion area, it is guaranteed crit. So I want to use this on me then, right? Like I want this to be like really, really close to me then and I want to use it. Exactly. And and there's a certain mm. tech too in which um, on the rightmost upgrade for it, I believe. Oh, the middle one, sorry, sorry. Middle one. So that is a, that is a mistype. It's not 1%, it's 10%. Oh, okay, so I want to use it and I want to be within dash range and I want to time it so when it explodes, and I'm assuming it explodes once it hits an enemy, right? Yes, yes. Already makes sense to me. Yeah, that yep. makes complete sense to me. So, yeah, I, I think if you can time that, but I'm assuming you also got to be careful too because you just got to make sure, probably play it around like the enemy's cooldown so you don't jump into a shitty situation yourself because you're using your dash and there's going to be a cooldown. For sure, for sure. You, you got it. I'm thinking man. You we can chain it. this and this. Oh, okay. yep. I'm, yep. I'm ready to go. Let's do you it. You see it. You I'm see ready. The oh, go to skill slots before we X out. This oh, we're really not even important. done yet? Yeah, yeah. So this is, so the most left hand spell is the first spell that you're going to get. Um, and it goes okay. in order. So whatever's in the left will be on the first one, the second one, and then the third one. Okay, so when I use a spell, I'm assuming that it will go into rotation and I'll have to use another one next. Yes, exactly. So I don't want, I want solar explosion at the end, don't I? Can I do that or no? You can. So X out all of them first. And I actually okay. think we do want solar explosion first. Okay. Um, we do solar explosion into zip zap yep. and then into and then seed, seed of fire. fire. The main reason why is because seed of fire is our lifesteal, right? So we dash in with there. the solar explosion, with a zip zap, we may have taken some damage here and there. And then we see the fire at the end to life steal it back up. That's a very good idea. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yep. But we want it solar first, because is the solar move kind of kind of slow? Like, do we want to pop a solar and then immediately follow up with a zip zap, usually? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the solar explosion is actually pretty fast. So it's like a linear line skill shot. Um, okay. And it moves quite fast. But you, you should okay. be able and then to react. we use the zip zap to disengage. Yep, you zip zap to disengage. Beautiful. You, you, you're getting it. And then... If they damage you, see the fire. Life seal it up. Yep. And they'll be CC'd, so the seed of fire should be able to hit most cases, unless I'm boosted. Yes. All right. I feel like we're good. Anything else in the skill tree we got to take care of? No, that'll be it. That'll be it. I think you're Dude, ready so for excited. for the arena. Do it. Rank match or private match? Let's just go into rank. We might as well. <laughs> Let's go rank. Let's go rank. <laughs> okay. 
waiting for an opponent. I hope I don't have really bad ping. I mean, oh, I, I got to play that, on a VPN. Yeah, speaking of that, press cancel. Okay. And we need to change your server. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. I think Did we um, get one? if you're in, yeah, you're in Southeast Asia right now, right? I am, yeah. Okay, so it should be in the C Singapore server. So okay, you should be I'm pretty okay. close to that. Yeah, you have it will show uh, my 90, ping. 88 ping. Yeah, that's good. Really oh, good. dude, I'm yeah. solid. That's not bad at all. Yeah, really good. Enemy team. <laughs> Yo, I like this hat. This warrior's yeah. looking pretty dope. All right. So I'll take it slow and just kind of get some of your guidance. So feel free to min-max me and backseat me as much as you want here. So this Sounds is the formation good. phase. How yep. should I so form it So let's put the warriors at the very front. Okay. Yep. Like this. And Yep. And then just split them. Uh, the middle warrior, the green one, put it one to the right. Perfect. Okay. The rogue on the left wing in the middle. Right and there. then mage is perfectly fine at the back line right there. Right behind me. Okay. Yep. And you're good. We're ready? Yep. Let's do this. So, I see mine. Should I be using any of these buffs? Yes, so right now what you can do is just cast Solar Explosion into that Apostle stack and dash into the world. And then it crits 1.6k, you saw that? Yeah, I did. Yep. And then now just, um, you have 13 mana, so you can just use your spells and, and kill his Apostles or kill him. Yep, Mystic Flow, that reduces your uh, card. And then use both of those, the Leaping Bomb. On this him. one too? Yep. He's using... Yep. And then use the buff for your Warrior, so that first card. This one? Last new standing, yep. Nice. Oh, make sure we use it, we're at uh, 15 mana. So we can actually spam here. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. And then, so what about me? Do I want to hit him here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should have used... Oh yeah, Card Shark, Card Shark. The four, fourth card. Fourth Shark? Yep. yep. And then it'll return that card for you. Beautiful. And then what I would do is I would Zip Zap. I yep. would use and it. Dash. And, then, and then dash into him. Yeah, it'll start spinning. And then once he gets stunned, use your first ability. I, uh, I missed it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. And then you could uh, use all your uh, Apostle abilities on him as well. Let's switch a room, zip zap, and then once you get the stun, so it's three hits, use the Solar Explosion on him. And then dash in. Boom! Nice, nice. 1.3k! And then you have another combo right there, so we're zip zapping. You can dash in, so your zip zap hits. Beautiful. Oh, I tried to anticipate the movement, but it didn't work. Oh, it still hit? Did it really? Yeah, it still hit. It was 1.3k. Boom. Aya. Easy. We got him. Easy. You got it. It Guru. really felt like. Okay, I didn't know I could spam so much. I thought I had to be careful. No, like, no. I was like, oh, I'm going to run out of mana. Where do I see my mana? Is On it the right bottom the right. Are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right below the cards. And the max mana uh, is 15. So usually, like, I like to stay between um, 8 to 10 mana for a full combo. And then I'll reset and, and uh, get that first window again and save mana. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so right now your game plan is just kill his uh, apostle. That's your main game. Okay. Is this damage as well? Oh no, yep. that's a buff. That's a buff. Yep. This one is damaged though. Yes, I'm gonna kill yes. his fossils right here. Beautiful. Ah, so that's one of my characters. Yes. Ooh, good, 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 good. Okay, I like that. And just wait right. for your one of your damage abilities before you use zip zap. So press escape. Press escape. Okay. There you go. And now just spam your apostle abilities on him. Okay. I do want to. 
And then we should get in a rotation uh, if we keep going and, and go through the deck. You should get your avatar skills. Okay. So you're just beating him up with your apostles. Dude, I'm just racking him. Like, <laughs> what the heck, dude? What could he even do there? My apostles destroyed him. So is it a good game plan to kill the enemy's apostles like really, really quick so that they can't fight back? Yes. So with your build, especially since you have like solar explosion and seed of mm -hmm. fire, those are huge apostle killers. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that that opener, dude, I it's... wrecked his front line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then now he can't run away. And then sometimes, too, what you could do is use zip zap to help your apostles get to him. And then you you literally at that point in the game where it's a 1v5, you just up tempo and you pressure him until he dies, essentially. So I want to just take a look at this really quick. I think the one thing I'll have to do, I'll do it another time, but I just want to take a quick look. I think it was the... Okay, last dude standing. That's the one. I remember I was getting a buff for the warrior and I didn't know what it did. So it doubles his damage to slow or stun targets. Yep. And... Okay... That makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Wow, there's so much to these characters. So I'm assuming that like the IV is one thing, but you really want them to roll good abilities yeah. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. That yeah, makes a lot of th sense. That's what I'm saying. Like your mage, your double warrior, and your rogue, they're crap. Like you actually high roll <laughs> because those yeah, abilities are amazing. Yeah. Dude, this rogue had this one where the now you see me, holy, I think the one time. He ended up like jumping over and then I did this attack one. I think it's the uh, the can't touch this one. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but something either the rogue or the warrior did. I sent him over to him and he just got nuked. Like yes. he took so much damage from one of those units. It was one of the ones that jumps on him. I can't remember. Maybe it was oh, the warrior. No, if you go Leaping to the bomb. the rogue. So they have energized skills. So you see behind you. Leaps to enemy with the lowest oh. HP dealing. So that's like when they, that's like their natural ability. And they'll use that when they have that's, enough energy for it. That's what it was. Yeah, because I, yeah. I thought it was the rogue, but then I'm like, I don't see anything here that makes him do damage. And now I see it because he yeah. did so much damage to him. I watched him take like from like 75% health down to like nearly 50. He took so much damage. Yeah, and I'm assuming because the nutty. rogue does more damage, the more health he's missing. So if that had hit him at lower health, wow. Yeah. Wow. The rogue's like Dude. your assassin, like he will assassinate I... low HP target. I'm liking it so far. This is like, I, I feel a little overwhelmed with the info because it's fast paced and you've really, I feel like you can look at these, you already have an association with every like card and you know it based on muscle memory, like grab that card, you know where to throw it. Me, I'm kind of like aiming, I'll grab a card, see what it does. Like, oh, is it a circle? Is it a <laughs> buff, sure. right? But like, it is so interesting i feel like it really scratches that competitive itch that i have going oh 100 man 100 yeah i think the most important is just like memorizing the card um uh visual so you know exactly mm. what you have in hand and you will just use it based on knowing what the card is and it's like any mm -hmm. game right just learning like for example a league spell or or anything yeah. like that so yeah, yeah, that makes a lot up. of sense i'm down dude let's do it again that was fun I feel like that guy got kind of wrecked. It might have also been my apostles. Like I'm fighting an iron, right? So yeah. I don't no, I mean, I can tell I you right now, energy. you're yeah, ten energy per day. But you can keep playing without energy or ranking if you want. Okay, but this is the earnings, right? I'm yes. assuming. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Every time I fight somebody with a basic name, I feel a little unfair. I've got like, what? What's your rank again? Divine. Yeah, I'm divine. I think top. 10 right now something like that yeah yeah these guys don't even know <laughs> they don't yeah. even know what they're signing up for they're like <laughs> yeah we got this and i high rolled too damn i feel unleashed okay so i got a bit of an idea on how to do the formation i'm assuming that formation i have is pretty standard like i'm not going to change it much or would i change it depending on what the enemy does oh i can't see his formation can i no no but yeah this is pretty standard so think of it like um, I guess like League or like any MOBA, you want your bruisers up front, you want your assassins kind of chilling in the midline, and you want your ranged DPS in the back. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Alright, let's do this. 
Honestly, this is pretty dope. I mean, you're, you're picking it up quick. Okay, I do want... Beautiful. Hey, uh, yeah. Nice. Okay, nice. so this is one. I'm gonna hit him. Ooh, no, he's running away. He knows, he knows. <laughs> he knows. Switch, good switch. Last week standing. Floor hammer. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to, I was trying to dodge him. Alright, I know combo? what I'm gonna do. Yep. Yeah, I do. Oh, that was smart on his part. Jeez, buddy. Oh, you're getting it, man. And then yeah. use your, uh, see the fire on his apostles. So your apostles, yeah, yeah. Makes yeah. sense. So you lifesteal, and it's a guaranteed hit. There you go. I think I scared him there. Oh, wait, I did the wrong thing. Oh, good. So now you're low on mana. I would wait maybe like six to eight mana, and then you can do a combo. Yep, you should be good now. And then it's the third hit. As soon as the third hit comes, that's the stun. Ooh, this guy. Careful. Uh, get, get inside, get inside. You're in the, the blood moon. The outside. I see, I see, I see, I see. So he's going to be hitting me. Makes sense. Yep. I got to be careful of these apostles, man. Yeah, so you want to use your Seed of Fire on mainly apostles, because that's where you life steal from. And it's pretty much Makes a sense. guaranteed hit, because they don't move around too much. Oh, dude, oh, he's he doing damage you. to me. He bubbled me. Yep. Oh, he's got me. He got me. He got me. This guy's got something I didn't realize. So he does something where he like hold. He can like aim and hold a beam out at me and yes. walk around. Yes. Is the idea like? Does that just constantly do damage to me? I got to be careful, don't I? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely um, dodge if you can, and you switch a yeah. on moments like that. Switcheroo, what does the switcheroo one look like? Um, it's on your mage, if you hovered the mage. Oh, you can't now. But it looks like, um... I don't know how to explain it, honestly. Okay, I made sure. Yeah, so he's aggroing Is on Is that the you. switcheroo? No, not yet. We, uh, we don't have it yet. Yeah. yeah, right now your main focus is to kill his apostles before he kills yours. Wait, wait, I gotta do that. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I wanna buff him here. That's the last dude standing. I just gotta wait. What is that orb? I'm gonna use this just to hit the apostles a little bit. Yep. I wanna try and CC them. In apostles, yeah. Especially see the fire. Yep. That's super big. Just on the apostles. So this is switcheroo, right? I'm yes, hold that's that. switcheroo. Yeah, you hold on to that. Ooh, I had to jump out of the way there. Yep. Yeah, that was good. Yep, so just be careful using your like big spells like that, like magic bomb on the enemy. Because if you mm. don't CC them, if they're like uh experienced player, they'll just dodge it. Ooh, that was smart of him. And then zip zap, beautiful dodge. On him, beautiful. Ooh, oh, almost close, so I, close. I, I wasn't able to do it. Nice, nice. Doing. We're hitting him. Such a root, beautiful. I jumped out of there. Yep. Nice. You get a life steal, beautiful. Oh my God! You actually hit him with it. That's. I huge. know. I saw that. You're up tempo, so definitely zip zap first. 
and yeah, then once you it. get that uh, stun, use it really fast. Oh, oh my god, you're oh, getting oh. this, Guru. You are getting this. Ooh, that was good CC though. Yeah, he's canceling okay, he's you these. with the with the um, boulders. Nice, you canceled him with the zip zap stun. And now we want a life steal. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm seeing that. Yep. Oh, don't go in the red circle. Oh. You're dying. You're dying. So you want to stay it, within it, the. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Okay, that was good. Nice, nice. So we're low on mana. We need to see the I fire wait, for eh? sure. Yeah. And he's doing the same thing. He has like a very similar um, build. Oh, that was such a good so dodge cool. on his part. I'm gonna try and hit him. Yep. I gotta get C to fire off. Oh, oh that was a good dodge on his part. Yeah. Damn, GG's. 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 That guy played pretty well, I gotta say. Yeah, I, I would actually say he knew what he was doing. He knew uh, when to dodge, he knew when to use his skills. I would say, like, yeah. uh, definitely a little bit more experience, for sure. Yeah. He had, I, I think he had a good idea of what my combo was, and he was really good at taking down my... Um, my apostles. I think what I gotta do is focus more on my apostle killing in the beginning. I think yes. I was slacking on that. I also feel like I was spamming the abilities without knowing exactly what all of them do. Yeah. Which I gotta jump into a little bit. If you were to look at the apostles, like when you have abilities come up, what are some of the things that it, you really keep your eyes open for and you try to do early on? Like based on the skills that I have here, like what skills should I really be looking to? to try and use. By the way, I know you have Ronan Radio right away. No, no, so you're good, you're good. I, I told one, Gila but... I was gonna be late, so no worries. Okay. You, you got you got me, no worries at all. Um, but yeah, based on these, I just wanna know, like, what are the skills I really wanna be keeping my eyes open for and using correctly? Switcheroo yeah, so... I already got. I need to keep Switcheroo around for, like, clutch or yes. outplay. I've noticed that. Yes, yes. Actually, Ronin Radio is at 12, so you've got me. No worries at all. Like, we, I'm not in a rush. It's in two hours. But yeah, nice. to, to look at what you have, so Leaping Bomb, um, okay. that's like a reposition sort of thing. So I really like to use Leaping Bomb on like the enemy mage or the enemy hunter, just so I can mm. get my bruiser onto their ranged DPS and start whacking them. Um, mm. Warhammer Smash. I, it's pretty good, but you do have to aim it. So it, it's it's mm. something that um, I would definitely just use on the enemy apostles again. And then mm -hmm. ice cold armor. As soon as I see that, I'm just gonna spam it, um, just because it's like this aura around your warrior that essentially just does damage. Okay, so definitely leaping bonk focus it, and I can see that. Like that definitely has a very particular. I've seen it come up. Plus, when I use it, it's got really good range. Yep. Use that to get to the back line, not to the enemy, um, like whatever you want to call it, avatar, but definitely avatar. to like the mages and stuff, right? You yes. want to get him on the mages and the apostles. Yes, yes. Because especially okay. with your build that we we cooked up, which is um, uh, solar disc and sea of fire, that, those main abilities in the early game, we definitely want to take advantage of its AOE and use mm -hmm. it on the enemy apostles because more than likely, like. If we try to just dry use it on the enemy avatar, if they're he's gonna dodge it, they're just gonna dodge exactly. Yeah, exactly. I noticed that. I felt like I was wasting a few of them, and honestly, I think using everything I can on the apostles to bring it down is a little bit better. And then I really gotta know my combo. Like if I didn't, if I, how much mana do I need for my combo? By the way, zip zap is zip zap. How much is mana? Three, solar explosions okay, and four, and seed of fours. fire. I think is. Four. Three or four. So okay, the so sweet spots are around need eight to, get to twelve. Yeah. Eight to twelve. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. And then this one, welcome to the slam. Same thing, I'm assuming. Use yep. it. It's a it's also a smash, like a jump. Yes. And there's also okay. something a little bit more um, advanced, but I think you'll get it. It's the offering bonus. So with Welcome to the Slam, it's actually the best skill of a warrior combined with Last Dude Standing. 
because mm -hmm. what offering does is increases its damage. So if you offer three, um, it'll essentially hit for 1.6k. What offering is, is that if you have Welcome to the Slam in your hand and you discard other cards other than Welcome to the Slam, there, there is, there's going to be a ticker on Welcome to the Slam um, that goes up to three. So one ticker per card that you discard, which offers mm. for Welcome to the Slam. Okay, so to discard, what do you do to discard? Do you have to press a different button? Do you pull it down instead of yeah, up? Yeah, you just, you just pull it down. Yeah, you just pull it down. Okay, that makes sense. So I can sacrifice stuff, and if I have, like, priest stuff that I don't need, and if I offer it, do I don't waste mana, right? It gets rid of it? It takes one mana to discard a card. Okay, yep. okay. that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because okay. I think one thing I wasn't noticing was the priest as well. The priest I wasn't doing that great with. I was kind of like throwing it out, but maybe not realizing what I needed to do. It looks like a buffer more than anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, we were mainly playing with the two warriors, one mage, and one rogue. So we didn't have the yeah. priest in, um, in the game. Oh, I guess. Yeah, you're right. They were just sitting outside, hey? Yeah, and yeah I guess yeah. it was there was one person I kept I think it was the the mage I wasn't using yep. the mage very well the only thing I was doing was switcheroo yep. I noticed the mage had something that was kind of like seed of fire magic bomb yep magic um, bomb. after 1.25 seconds mystic flow next card costs one less mana yes okay so I could probably hold on to that and if I was to use that right before I pull one of my skills does that make it cost one less mana as well exactly exactly yep mm -hmm. Okay, the mage is pretty cool, actually. I like the mage. And it also heals. So Switcheroo also heals us, hey? That's yes. really good to know as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the rogue is just damage. Yeah, okay. rogue is damage. Ooh, the last most played important... card returns. Yes, that's that's what's, that's really good about this rogue is, for example, you use your solar disc. When you use your solar disc, you use card shark right after. And solar disc becomes your next card back up in your draw pile. Mm, that makes a lot of sense yeah that makes so much sense now okay okay that let's run it i want to try yeah. again now that i have a better understanding of what's going on i want to try this once more sounds good yeah usually I with definitely. your build definitely kill the enemy apostles uh as your main priority in the early game and in the mid game um hey. and if you do get the apostle advantage that means your tempo is up if your tempo yep. is up, then you can start sending your apostles to his avatar, and then your your apostles and yourself will end up winning the game. Makes sense. I noticed that guy knew my strat in the beginning too. He kept throwing a big ability into the um, into the apostles in anticipation of me using solar disc in the beginning. He was yep. he was being pretty smart about it. Yep. But that's what makes this good. It's going to be like the outplay. He knows my strat, so he's trying to put strats into it i didn't really know his strats i think eventually once i learn my own then i'll be able to start understanding other people's strats 100%. so i can start to outplay them a little bit yep 400 oh hey. he doesn't have Wait, apostles no... <laughs> is this a bot i think he's a bot dude oh dude this yeah is, this, this, this is, is not even <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah just hit him with the speed of fire gg's bud <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that guy's doing, but uh, yeah. I think that's just a bot, dude. This guy doesn't even know what he's doing. Maybe a he new just dashed and... into my apostles too. Yeah. Just gonna ready up. I think he's a little. I, I don't think he did the tutorial. No. He also definitely didn't do the. <laughs> Yeah, Seed of fire. Yeah. Just, just crack up. There's nothing I gotta do here. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I guess I'll take the free elo, dude. Yeah, I'm not we'll complaining. Yeah, we'll take the dump. We'll take it. Yeah. We'll take it. Iron three. Here we go. I feel like I'm playing TFT all over again. All right, let's jump back in. That doesn't count. At least I was still in my earnings. Do you earn more from winning, or do you earn anything from losing? You don't earn... Well, you earn very little when you lose. Um, oh, okay. And it, it so, does go oh. up the higher ranking you are. Mm, okay. What are these points, these three? Is that, that one of the things is, I'm earning? Yes, yes. That is anima. Okay. 
makes sense. All right. What does Buddy here got? Let's do let's this, my dude. Let's hope he has a possible. Yeah, let's hope we can actually fight him. Yeah. My team? Oh, yeah, he's got a possible. Okay, he does. Nice. He's got a hunter. This guy's looking snazzy. Yeah. Oh, he's got a full set. I wonder what he's using. He's got like one of every single type of apostle. Yeah. All right, I'm readying up. The shot. Okay, so it doesn't tell me his abilities yet. No. Oh, he has a priest, right? So the priest is that uh, one with the cross. When you see a priest, we want to kill the priest, no matter what. Because if we don't kill the priest, okay. he's just going to sustain everything. So that's this one right here, eh? Yep, yep. So we want to I'm just mainly swap. focus that guy. Wait, 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 wait. What's the one? I want repose, don't I? Yep. Where's the priest? The one with the... Yeah, yeah, right in the that middle. right there. Yes. Just focus the priest down, use everything on the priest. What I like to tell people is if you see priests, we don't care about mana, we just all in the priest, we make sure Soraka is dead. Okay, makes sense. Yep. Oh, he hit me hard with that one. Almost dead. Priest is nice. dying. Magic Priest, bomb. Priest is dying, I'm bringing shark. this back. There we go, did you see me card shark? Nice, guy? nice. I see it, I see it. Wait, I don't want this yet. Oh my god, he ran into your magic bomb. Zip zap, beautiful. Into the switcheroo. I see you! I see the play. Throwing it over here! Yep. That's it! I think you can get away from me, bud? Not today. Nice. Jeez. Jeez. Dude, you're, you're a natural guru. <laughs> I thought... I didn't know, because I didn't have an ability. So I was like, okay, hey, I zip zap him. He's with all my Apostles. I'm going to back off now and yep. just try and get my bearings. Because yes. I, I didn't feel like I was in I was in immediate need to stick around him. I didn't have the cooldowns for it. For sure. Beautiful. Okay, I want to jump on the Priest. Yep, everything on the Priest. The Priest doesn't get to play. It's like uh, in an MMO, right? You see a healer on the enemy team. Yeah. You kill the healer first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to switch nice. over here real quick. Priest is dead. Beautiful. And now we can chill a little bit. So just wait for some mana. Yeah, yeah I'm only at two, so I want to be careful. I do want to hit him. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, that's not the one I want. That's not the one I want either. I want this. Yes. Move your okay. rogue. And then now you're pretty good mana. You can definitely like do a combo here. And I see a combo in your hand right now. Beautiful. Yeah, I bro. see it too. Okay. I just want to take care of the apostles here. Nice, good switch. The predict? Nah, close, not quite. Close. I tried though. Yep, careful of the hunter. So when you hear the hunter like, it's like charging up the headshot. Um, and that does a okay. lot of damage. Oh, baby, nice. that was holy shit though. Damn. This guy's not too bad. This guy's not yeah, too kill bad. Yeah, kill the hunter. I'm gonna hit him. Yeah. Dodge. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Hunter's almost dead. Beautiful. Yeah, zip zap into solar explosion. And he's dead. It is. GG's. Done. Yeah, that hunter. Okay, I gotta watch that. So he's the one who just like the little, hey, and then he yep. shoots. Yep, okay. yep. That's a hunter ability damage. called headshot. And that thing, if you don't dodge it, it'll hit you like 1.3k. To 1.8, depending okay. on the I, the IV. It, does it show any um, uh, any like trail where it's gonna shoot? Was that like the really skinny one, like the really skinny red mark that showed like it was shooting across the map, or was that one of his skills? Yeah, that was the the hunter, and and usually that was the hunter. Yeah, usually for me, it's a sound cue. It's that like charging up high uh sound, and mm -hmm. then if I hear that sound, I'll look at the hunter and I will try mm -hmm. to to dodge the headshot on the last mm. second that it, it um, 
releases from his bow. Oh, so is the head start tracking or is he just trying to anticipate your movement with it? Yeah, so it's tracking when you use it, um, mm -hmm. but there is a slight delay from when it shoots the to shot. where it actually goes. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So what is this inactive streak? Bonus stars? Tier 3 yep. to 9 to 3 only? Yep. So um, that is when you are wind streaking. And when you're wind streaking, you get um, better or higher amount of stars. So two stars rather than one. And that's how mm -hmm. your rank up. Yeah. That makes sense. Because you want to you wanna try and get it. I mean, it's the same thing we had in, in Axie. So it makes a lot of sense to me. Definitely yep. does. All right, let's try one more. I want to try this. I'll see if I can make you proud with a with a single win streak here. I'm starting to get the feel for it a little bit. I think the one thing is just finding the balance. Um, I did notice there was a few times when cards will come up and I'm like, okay, I got it. I know how to plan it. I haven't done any offerings yet. I'll see if I can get one of those in. But normally, I just against that guy, I was like, I just want to spam on that priest, so... For sure, and I think that was the correct play. And right now, honestly, I wouldn't focus too much on offering. Um, I think get the bearings first of your cards, what they do, what your combos are. And um, okay. next session, we can go over more like intermediate stuff. But for now, I just okay. want you to, to get the, the feel of the game and, and how it plays. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna do exactly that. I like I like the 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 group we got set up here. Yeah, this guy's got a guardian. I wish I had a guardian. Does he have a priest? Yes, priest in the back. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Jump on the priest. I tried to jump on him. Okay. Oh, that priest, he's jumping away. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to use everything on priest. Use the move yeah. spell on the priest, on the rogue. Uh, the on the rogue? rogue. Is yeah, that this now one? you see me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So your rogue will teleport there and starts auto attacking. Ice cold armor slows it down. Last team standing will buff your warrior. I'm going to jump away. Yep. And then priest Where's is the dead. Where's the priest? Is he dead? Yep. Nice. He's dead. So now we can focus on uh, the warriors now. Okay. Our chart, I bring nice. This back. nice. I want to get this again. I got to watch my mana though. Good dot, good dot. Want to use that before he's dead. Huge damage. Oh my god, 2.5k. It's actually a lot. I'm trying to move out of that. Just one more should be. Oh, oh he cancelled you. Damn, that was smart. Yep. Now we're in a 1v1. It should die Almost. shortly, I think. Oh my god. I knew he was jumping. Nice, dude. Oh my god. Not today, dude. buddy. Hitting him, bro. Ah, yeah, make sure we careful. dodge the water dragon beams. Okay. Is that that one? Yep. Yeah. And then once zip, when Zip Zap is up, feel free to stay on top of him. Because it's also farming you movement speed by each orb hitting him. Okay, 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 okay. And try to predict. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Huge. that worked. And then Zip Zap him into that so he stays in the uh, same tree of or flame of sea, sea of flame. And he's just canceling. He's pretty smart. He knows what he's doing for sure. Okay, we gotta be careful. Nice. Damn, I gotta wait for my mana here, hey? Yeah. Nice dodge. 
Dodge that. Okay. That's smart of him. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. Nice. Oh, I think you went. Nice. Let's Damn. go. Oh, that's that dope. was intense, dude. Yeah. That was so intense. Oh, I had to stop for a moment. And make sure I got my auto attack off. I keep forgetting that I have to stop to get the auto, the auto. attack off. Yeah, yeah. That was that was good, man. That felt intense. <laughs> Use this right here. I do want to hit on them really quick. Huge damage. Oh my god. That was just a huge yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was beautiful. I want to get on this rogue though. Yeah, we're on this, the not this rogue. Sorry. The priest. Yep. Magic bomb. Beautiful. Nice. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, what you can do now, so you have two options, is either kill his warriors or kill him. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna hit this. Yeah? Might as well. Yeah, get your mage out. Beautiful. Yeah, I didn't want him to hit that. Okay. If you're getting a guy. possible advantage, which is really good. Almost dead. Yep. Okay, wait, so if he's, he's not dead, dead yet, oh my. Hit. Nice. Okay. Now it's a uh, 2v or 3v1. Which, nice. Damage. Yep. Jump in. Yep. Just wanna zip zap. You just keep hitting him with the orbs, because that gives you 1% yep. movement speed per hit. Will do. Nice. I gotta wait for my mana though. Yep, yep. Yeah. Now we wanna wait like six to seven. So we can uh, combo. Beautiful. Oh Huge. my god, nice. Dude. I should get him. Yep. GG's, buddy. Oh, not GG's. GG's, I think? GG's, yeah. Auto attack? No nice. GGs. Yeah. GG's. Just waiting. I got the feel for that one that time. The moment the priest goes down, that's why I think, actually, you're right. It's it's really high risk to run a priest because it's so much unit value put into the priest that if somebody takes gets rid of that priest, it feels like you're just you've you've lost so much tempo now. By the way, that was me on a two win streak versus him on a two win streak to battle for our three win streak, and we took the W. Let's That's go, what it's baby. All about, dude. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll be honest with you, Logic. This is dope. Like yeah. I'm actually really enjoying. It's intense, and I haven't even scratched the surface. Like this is just the bare minimum, getting the fundamentals. I can see why. You said what you said about like Apron having so much competitive opportunity. And like, I got a question for you. Yep. Like, you know the team, you're keeping up to date with it. Like, it, what more do we have to look forward to with this? Like, do you see more, like, more and more maybe game modes, content, characters, skills? Like, what does the future of, of Apron competitive gameplay look like in your mind? It's that's actually a really good question because this is only one third of the game. Um, right now, we have the PvP Battle Arena, which I think we both enjoy. But there is still the PvE Dungeons that's uh, yet to oh, come, which you will be, be so able dope. to level up your Apostle skills. You'll be able to get new Apostles just by playing PvE. Um, mm -hmm. You know, challenges with PvE. And then mm -hmm. the last third of this is the Godiverse, which is essentially like the sims or the spores of Aperon. Mm -hmm. um your planet is actually your planet and then your apostles live in your planet and their ai you take care of them you you what yeah you grow them you they they worship you and all that sort of stuff so it's uh and some civilization age of empires vibes from that 
Exactly. And that's exactly what it is. It's it's a it's this game is so big. It's gonna be a three in one thing with PvE dungeons, PvP battle arena, and as you've said, kind of like that Age of Empire civilization sort of feel. So Yo, I'm so looking forward to the PvE. Cause I think like I like competitive games, don't get me wrong. But one thing I do always enjoy, and I actually enjoyed it a lot about Albion, was when you know, every now and then just go run some raids, just go run some dungeons. It's like, you know what? I've done enough. I got like I'm I'm a little gassed on the competitive side, but I want to play the game. I want the experience. I want that like, you know, that that muscle mechanical satisfaction, but I want it with like lower risk and yes. less stress. Yeah. PDE is such a good addition to that. I'd be super pumped to play this with the like a squad. Go do some PDE. Yeah. That sounds really dope. Yeah, and, and, and I think that's what it's going to be and what I really like about Aperon too is they are looking to do like team based stuff. Um, mm. So I'm hoping we can play together in dungeons. I'm hoping there's going to be like, uh, you know, maybe a 3v3 or a 5v5 PvP arena mm. mode. Um, anything like that. So, I mean, it's, it's based on their white paper, just talking about GVGs, talking about esports, talking about competitive mm. play. This game, Aperon, I, I think has one of the biggest potentials for really making it here in Web3. So I'm, Dude, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that they came over to Ronin too, because I, I never even knew about Aperon. I'll be honest, like I, they were just non-existent to me. And then suddenly they came over to Ronin and they got that that like stimulation, that go to market assistance. And I'm really excited to see what they can do with it. And speaking of, of like tournaments and esports, by the way, I, I know you didn't take first place, but really good job on the tournament. I'm really happy you ended up playing in that, by the way, and uh, excited to see you run it back on the next one and hopefully take the trophy home. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, could have done better, of course, always hindsight's 2020, but I'm using it as fuel to the, the, the I, I just need to get better. That's all it is. Learn You'll from my back, mistakes man. and take number one next time. I took number two this time. But, you know, I can't be logic with a one without number one. So that's we'll take it, it first. man. That's it. You will. But, yo, I'm going to let you go for a bit, let you get a cool down before Ronan Radio. I'll probably hit you up on Ronan Radio, by the way. I'll at least come listen to it. Uh, but, good. Logic, you're the go, man. I, I feel so ready to grind. And I'm going to grind the next time that you and I do a <laughs> session. I'm going to be at least ranked up. I don't know how the ranking tiers go, but I guarantee you I will get ranked up to the point where my emblem looks dope then awesome. i want to learn about like what the high-end players do and at that point i think we can do some planet shopping as well oh for sure i actually think you could easily hit diamond with your expertise in, in moba in league and just being a good gamer i think with this free-to-play stuff you'll easily hit diamond um nice. maybe even divine i mean there is a player his name is bent he hit divine completely free to play so it is possible Damn. to be really competitive as long as you just know and min-max your skills and abilities and all that stuff. No, that makes sense. Well, I'll try my best. I can't I can't promise Divine, but I'm going <laughs> to rank it up. But yo, much love again, bro. Thank you for this. I know your time is valuable, but uh, I'll make sure that we get this posted on. I'll get you all tagged in it. And uh, I'll just cut up this video so it's good and we'll put some clips up too. But you are the GOAT logic. I'll hopefully see you on the battlefield at some point. Uh, but yeah, we'll wrap it up at this point. Thank you once again, bro. I really appreciate the coaching session. Yeah, of course, dude. Thank you so much. And, and I, I'm looking forward to your progression in Aphora. Sounds good, bro. All right. Have a good night. And for everyone yes. else, make sure you guys drop Logic a follow. Come on, drop this man a follow. He's the goat of Aperon. Okay, Logic, we'll hit you up next time. Have a good night, bro. Sounds or a good. good day for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll see you, Guru. All right, guys. Well, that is it for the Zero to Hero Guide with Guru in this beginner's coaching session. Definitely, I think Guru will be up there, especially high up in the leaderboards. Just a little bit more time, a little bit more playing and understanding the game mechanics and the, the deep things such as offering bonuses and things like that. He's definitely going to be up there. I had such a great time coaching him and I hope you guys learned something too. Otherwise, guys, see you guys in Dudaria.